Hi, how you doing, SBC family? Uh, my name is Percy. And I'm Jen. And uh, we're the Lacey's, and we get the privilege to bring to you SBC's vlog about Jacob's sermon for this week. He's teaching in Philippians 2, 19 through 30. That's right. And it's about with Paul sending Timothy and Epaphrodites to Philippi. You know, one thing that uh, points out to me in the, uh, in the message here, in the scripture particularly, is that Paul knew that the people in Philippi needed help. They needed good, solid brothers and around the group of people to help them grow their faith. Because remember, this is New Testament church. Not everybody knows what the right thing to do. You got you got dirty preachers over here saying this is what Jesus had to do. And then you got the righteous folks that say this is the way God says we should live our life. And without having the right people around, you don't know what to do. You know, it's a cool thing throughout the whole Bible. God constantly, from day one, he keeps showing and setting an example through men, through his creation, through everything. He's showing us how to live, how to act, and all of that type of stuff. You know, that type of stuff. And I think Jacob even talked about that yeah. in his sermon. What? I believe he did talk about that in the sermon. And I think what's crazy is that uh, God has a way to do things. And uh, I want to stick on verse 21 for a second. And I'm going to read it verbatim from the NIV version of the Bible. Uh, verse 21 says, For everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. And, and how I believe what's being said here is, Everyone wants to do what's right in their own way. Hey, this is my life. I'm going to do it my way. Uh, Jacob in the sermon, he uses the phrase, the world says to love yourself. And I know a lot of people out there listen to reality TV. We have family, we have friends, and it's all about their selfish needs and their selfish wants. But what God wants us to remember is we were created to worship him. It doesn't matter what Percy wants, what Jen wants. It's about what Jesus wants us to do because a lot of times, and I would say most of the time, people who are all about themselves feel very empty inside because what they're looking for can't be fulfilled in selfish desires, materialistic uh, items, and just the, the zest for life that they think they want is really wrapped up in uh, the things of God. And when you do the things of God, you feel a peace. And I know that I feel like I'm doing the right thing because I'm serving Jesus. And I get fulfilled because I'm in, um, in right standing with Christ because I'm doing things the obedient way versus the wrong way. And both Timothy and Epaphrodites, they both were others focused. They weren't selfish. They weren't seeking their own glory. They were constantly serving others and sharing the gospel and and pointing people to Christ and so I think Paul just really held them held them up to in a higher standard because they were a higher standard and that's why they kept Paul sent them instead of being able to go himself he sent them because he wanted a good example for people and he wanted people who genuinely love and genuinely care and I think so many times, I mean, they're such a good example for us because so many times Percy always loves to tell me how self-focused I am. <laughs> You're so, selfish, Jen! And I know this. And it's just one of those things that it's a, it's a sin. And it's needing to make sure I put God first so that I'm not putting myself first. And then with God first, it trickles down into you know our marriage and our kids and everything else. Um, being others focused. So it's something that constantly I'm learning. So uh, to go ahead and wrap this up, Jen, mm -hmm. what we want to just um, say to ourselves and say out to you is take some time, look inward, really like, you know, look at the man in the mirror and figure out where I'm areas of my life that I'm selfish. And you know how you break selfishness? Just go serve other people. Yeah. You get on your knees and, re and repent to Jesus. And I mean, that's what I'll, I need to do every day because I got pride issues. I got an ego.
big ego. <laughs> but, uh, you know. But uh, that being said, uh, we love you guys. We, we miss you. Yeah, we miss seeing each other. I miss, you know, shaking hands and hugging. So uh, until next time. Uh, fist bump. Yeah, fist bump. Show them how to do it. Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, bye-bye. Bye, everyone.